Good morning, shiny happy people. Are you shiny and happy? It's up to you. God's saying, you can lie to yourself, but you cannot lie to, lie to the light is flowing through me today. And um, straight up, this is the week that uh, is going to pivot that into a, a different truth of you can't lie to yourself anymore. Uh, you are light. Um, Rebecca Merkaba, you want to be inspired? You want to see light? You want to hear truth? Her latest video, unless she's put another one out in the last 12 hours after I went to bed. Um, she's in her car, getting really cute. Her kids behind her, like doing a bunch of stuff same energy going on me and her that kid energy that helps us helps us to ground a lot helps us to keep in um, fairy mode really does yeah Rebecca Merkaba check her out she knows her stuff and uh, she's of that mentality of uh, you know that we have hit a certain um, words there's no turning back we've hit 50% collective consciousness and really um, we're there this week is that thing where whatever you're hanging on to that you think you're not or that you think you've overcome it's, it's there and let it go. Um, gonna refer back to the seven virtues. Uh, it ain't a Catholic thing and it ain't a Christian thing. It, it's, it's a law of the universe, you know? Um, it is. The, 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 there's no room for jealousy anymore. Uh, if you're of the light, you can taste it and it, it doesn't affect you the way that it probably did all your life, but you can still see it. It's there. Get over it. We are all gods and goddesses, every single person, and it's your choice to step into your role. No one can do it for you. People can be that cheerleader, people can be the trigger or the sink thing that makes you get it but you have to get it from within um, inspired action go get it where you need you know or, or just do what, what you're guided to do Heather Knobloch K-N-O-B-L-O-C-K love that name oh my god that is so powerful why because because you are the key and, and she's got the power of the lock in her name like that is amazing um she's new by new she just put out her like first video and for me um gonna re-shout out morpheus 401 why these are two people that i've had in my subscription list for a certain amount of time. I don't know, I don't write all this down, I don't remember it and retain it, but if I went in and looked at my subscription list, it's really big, it's really long. And there are a lot of people in there who have not come out yet. So last night when I saw Heather's video, I was like, I smiled, I think it was 19 minutes and 59 seconds or something like that, and I smiled the whole time. Why? Cause she's there and because she's doing it and because it doesn't matter if it's not your comfort zone if you're guided to do it, 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 it it's it's your role it's your thing just do it um, it's beautiful and
you know, Sue the Glitch once said to me, I forget if it was in a comment or if it was when I reached out to him one time, but know your power. And that is so important. We're so, we can be so busy looking at other people thinking like, ooh, ah, oh, that's so cool. I wish I could be like that or, you know, and, and not even realizing that we are. What you admire in other people is what you can do as well and sometimes surpass in different ways. It isn't about like being better and we're all equal and our gifts are so all important to merge together and the power of unity. It's just so important to see yourself for your true self, not who you think you are, not who you think you were, not who you've been programmed to believe who you're supposed to be, but who you really are. And this week is going to shine a light on that. And does that mean that like, oh, the dark and blah, 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 blah. Like, no, it's up to you. Like you're choosing to be like in a certain state and by you perpetuate it by the actions that you're guided to do and that you don't follow through. So it could be as easy as, you know, you're sitting there and you're in your routine and like you, your heart says, go get a coffee. And you're like, no, I don't want a coffee. I don't drink coffee anymore. I've let that go. Going to that coffee place that you're guided to go is where your key is. Or the, you know, that the, 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 the one trigger, the one sink, the one conversation that can pivot you. Start listening to your inner guidance. Truly only listen to that. And, uh, Everything flows in magical, amazing ways. It's Easter this weekend. I don't see it as the holiday that, you know, whatever. But research, it'll go and, and it'll get in you the, what, what Easter was all about, what it actually is, and, and go and, 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 and get to those roots inside you, your ancestor roots that need to be triggered. Um, it's full moon on Friday, Good Friday, 19, 4, 19. Energy does not lie and the numbers do not lie. And that goes into my next shout out. UFO security cam. Dude brought me back to life when I was starting to have this thing of, I don't know, like doubt or, or busting through something. I don't even know how to describe it, whatever. Um, I've said it often, you don't realize how much power you have when you're commenting somewhere and when you can, you know, if you volley a comment and, and speak to someone through comments, you may not even realize what you've done for someone and like super shout out for UFO security cam. Um, he reminded me of that thing that I, I was wavering. I forgot or I needed that. <sighs> 369, the numbers. Um, thanks, dude. If you ever watch my shit, like fucking. Um, we all have our different gifts and Putting them out there, you s trigger someone else. And it might be only one person. It might be a hundred thousand. Like, does the numbers matter? No. We all know each other. The inner knowing. Everyone, from the person that you smile at when you go get a coffee, um, that you you know, there's nothing that's random, and. If you're holding back still of, you know, either making a video, of commenting in other people's videos, if that's not your role that you're asked to play, you're holding back a trigger for someone. And um, yes, it's a choice. Yes, it's free will. But, you know, a show of hands, if I was in a room, of how many people, like, feel good and pure and just, like, fucking fully aligned... And then it would be like, why? The next question, and the answer would be is because I'm listening to my guidance, because I'm following my heart path, my soul calls. It doesn't matter how crazy they are. Like, 
the stories that I have are so whacked of being guided to things and the things I'm meant to do. Like I got like, I actually had to move somewhere once for a week and a half to be in the path of a certain thing. That's fucked. Everything I owned, like, that was a shitload of stuff at the time. Like, what I've accumulated in the last three years again, like how I did this, I don't even know. I had to move my stuff and I lived in a place for just a week and a half before the next thing, like boom, was open to me and it was meant to be and it was huge and it was like, psh. but in that week and a half, I was put in the path of doing so many different things because I was going a route I would have never driven. And, you know, I remember thinking like, could I just not have gotten a job here instead of moving all my stuff? You know, there, but the experience of moving, the people who had to help me or the people, you know, you get to know who your real friends are when you like move. Uh, the ones that like just are there, you don't even have to ask. And the ones that, you know, I'll be there for you, I'll be there for you all the time and they're not. Um, and that was another reason that that had to happen. Imagine like having to help somebody move like one week and then two weeks later, do it again. Damn, let me, let me tell you, you know who loves you unconditionally and who will do anything for you. It's, yeah. Anyways, I've digressed like a lot. But I'm just trying to show to what point, like some stuff that depending on what kind of path you have is really, it's demanding. It, it is, it is complete surrender and it is listening to like, what? Like, I got to move here and find this perfect spot. And then like something huge happens and it's like, oh, whoa, now I got to go there. Seriously, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. And uh, you got that little, like, you know, follow the yellow brick road and little crumbs, and it's all, like, just really smooth and not, like, so drastic. And fucking enjoy it. Like, good for you. That's awesome. And a shout out Jen's Gems again. She has a lot of interesting content not just shouting her out because I love her so much and because I know that she's one of those people that just 100% but she has a lot of different interesting content um, in the sense that you know she can go and just get your giggle vibe going and she can go and get that serious like Mandela effect thing going and um, you know especially if you don't understand certain things or if if you want to see it through the eyes of someone who, who speaks authentically, um, you know, we all learn differently and we all are triggered by different things in different ways. So sometimes listening to somebody who really knows what they're doing and has the perfect words for it is awesome. But sometimes watching someone go through it and try to understand it as they're being authentic is really um, what can resonate with you. Meaning, like, that's why I say, like, I don't, when I, I say in other videos, like, the true masters are the ones who have no fucking clue what they're doing. And I'm not putting down the mas the people who say they're masters, because they are. We are all masters. But to watch someone who's going through and kind of talking it out and being authentic instead of watching somebody who's already been through all that, doesn't even talk about that kind of stuff anymore, can really pivot you to like, whoa, like, never thought of that, didn't come through me, or the, they're just meant to be that you watch something to pivot yourself to another level. Speaking of levels, conscious evolution, it's really cool. It's got some cool shit. Um, enough said. Studio 226, New Media and Design. Um, 
various things on her channel and especially for those who you know could have had the path where they weren't creative um, she might get your juices going of trying new things um, we weren't meant to just be the muse and to just watch other people be artists we all have something inside as well that uh, needs to come out John Binney G J G and J yes Michelle's French and English she has no accent, so it's hard to tell that she doesn't always think in one language. And G's and J's, fuck me up. J-O-N, Binny, B-I-N-N-I-E. Um, cool music and shared for free. And this part of the, you know, awakening journey is that you're not always called to be selling and promoting certain things. It's just gifted to help awaken. And I was speaking to Brewery, Clerk Zero Zero, and uh, it was just a little conversation. And I know I've said this in other comments that, um, you know, a lot of people who already have the gift of music within and singing, um, for example, or, or other kind of artists, you know, like whether it be graphic or, you know, paint or just anything. A lot of people had these gifts like since childhood or birth or young, you know, teenagers or young adults and they wonder why they didn't make it and other people are, will be like, like, that you're, they're so amazing that they should be out there and I, I know I've said this before, like, but I, the everything, like there's a, what there was of a revolution of music in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and you know, even 80s if you want to include the new wave and everything, you know, like there's so, that that's not over and then that's nothing compared to what's coming and what's already being created now and how light filled and pure and just amazing that what the music industry or or what's what's going to be available readily to us so you know thanks to people like John Binney and uh, man I didn't write it down expanded universe creations I forget his name I have trouble with I didn't write it down People who put out music and really to help and to inspire and they'll get you going. They'll get you get that thing out and um, and start somewhere. And oh, did I get it? Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna go get his channel properly as I try to multitask. And. Um, to be like amazing like I was that restaurant person with you know a hundred thousand things going on and now it's like yep I'm not like that so much um, gonna shout out a channel that has really inspiring stuff um, a little shade all love um, some really like depending on how you need to be motivated and what works for you um, yeah, expanding universe innovation. I knew I was saying it wrong. Lots of different stuff on there. Um, really cool dude. I, I don't even know what his real name is. Maybe his real name is expanding universe innovations. Who knows? Um, yeah, and um, one thing that expanding universe helped me with and I, I haven't gone in to watch a lot and I'm not guided to, to do that, but he helped me with my body image. Um, he's a bodybuilder. I don't know if he uses that term. Sorry, uh, that's what I know. And, um, you know, he'll show parts of stuff like, and I myself, 
needed that, um, that his ability to show himself to help um, heal that thing that, you know, that we're looked at as eye candy and that because I met some like hardcore like bodybuilders who do shows and spoke to them intimately and that believe me they are not doing this it's not about people looking at them it's about focus and discipline and um creating your body w with intent to look a certain way and have the balls to go be judged for it to surpass your own limitations and your own perceived body image um, things. The two bodybuilders that I had like intimate conversations with, one was a male, one was a female, and they were coming from wounds, like we're talking huge wounds, childhood wounds of being obese, of being bullied, of feeling unworthy, and also they had both happened to have a path of like severe, huge, a huge drug addiction, um, where all of that needed to balance and be overcome in order to align and be able to train physically and f like in a focused way. It's, 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 a, it's, it's something, it's really cool. And you know, that's the thing when people choose to do certain sports or do certain things that their body is their tool and what it takes, like, that is amazing to me. I, um, had gone to do, um, I wanted to do, I wanted to open a business where I would help people love themselves. And I wanted some sort of accreditation uh, that would make it that I was able to be like uh, licensed and insured and in, in order to like work structurally with 3D ways. Yeah. So I went and did, I, I talked to the lady who gave the personal trainer course and I told her all this. I'm like, I am not going to be a personal trainer. I will never use a machine. Like, but do you think that the fact that I want some sort of like paper to be able to be licensed and to have insurance um, that this course would be good for me? And basically she said yes, because she wanted the numbers in her course. But um, looking back, that's what guided me and led me to those two people that I met that needed me in their life for that weekend when we did the personal trainer course. And so also when I did that weekend, I had, like I said, I had spoken to the lady, I forget her name. And I had spoken to her and I told her like, I have gone to the gym in my life. I don't like gyms. Like right there, she should have told me you don't belong here. And, but she didn't cause she wanted the numbers. And um, as in with my life path, people who have a position of power, and when I come in just all myself, happy and loving me and joyous, people in a position of power like to make fun of me. Yeah, you wouldn't think so, eh? So all weekend, she used me to go to a machine and then she would say, how would you show someone how to use this machine? And then I would look at her the first, especially the first times and I would be like, but I already told you, I don't know how to use any machine here properly. Where I come from, small town gym, this is not what our machines look like. I already told you, I have no idea how to use any of this. And the eight other people would be watching me because there was nine of us. And really they were seeing that she was putting me on the spot, that she was trying to make me look really stupid and that I was like telling her straight up, but I already told you, I don't know how to use this. Can, and then I would say like to the other people, like, can somebody come and be my volunteer and you show me how to use it and then I'll play the role she wants me to play. 
and really turned it around. And I realized, you know, how I had grown um, from the little girl in grade nine who basically, I was that girl who was never sporty and had to take gym to get through high school. And in grade nine, I think it was in the first week or two of school, we played soccer and I was put on a team and you know, um, I scored a goal, the winning goal. Because it was tight game. And it was just gym. It wasn't worth anything but, you know, a credit at the end of the year. I scored the winning goal. And as I was happy dancing and the other team was happy dancing and my team was looking at me like, what the fuck have you done? I realized I scored a goal for the other team. So from grade nine, I only had to take one, you know, gym credit in, in the 80s, Canadian, whatever, high school back then. So from like the second week of school when I scored the winning goal for the opposite team, I was for the rest of that semester chosen last for everything. I was chosen last for everything in the way that people would be like, do we have to take her? You know, because I was known to score a goal for the other team. So a part of me was probably sent to that to like, you know, overcome that thing within that doesn't play sports or doesn't do certain things a certain way. And But I had an awesome weekend. And I remember telling her, like, I told her at one point, I was like, you really shouldn't have had me here. I don't belong here. And I told her, I was like, you, you, you really just wanted my $670. And uh, I hope it was worth it. And I had a great weekend and, um, you know, I can't say I, I made lifelong friends, but I had some connections in that weekend that were really, really, really cool. But, um, you know, old me would have been crying like I was in, in a motel room because I didn't know anybody in the, the, the town where I got, uh, where I took the course. Old me would have been crying at the end of the day, like going like, oh my God, she's like putting me on the spot and making fun of me. <laughs> and knew me was more like that was awesome let's see what she does to me tomorrow because really in the end everybody who was in the course knew that I was being authentic and saying like I have no idea what I'm doing and that she was putting me on the spot like to make me look stupid or feel stupid to validate who she felt like she was and she was like an expert in her field. Like, I thought she was the shit. I wish that she would have liked me and that we could have had a conversation. She did so many things like in her career, but she didn't like me and she just chose to like put me on the spot. But it didn't put me on the spot. And it made, you know, the eight other people empathize with me in the sense that they could see what she was doing and like, I never walked in there saying I knew what I was doing. I walked in there saying, like, I'm never going to use a machine. Is this course good for me? And she said yes. Anyways, weird story of just how you can turn a situation around. You can have a bully in front of you who wants to treat you like shit. And, you know, I could have, like, gone spider monkey on her ass. I could have been, like, anything. And I chose to go with it and just... I had fun. Um, in the end, I tried to study for the course to do the test, but tests and exams make me really nervous and I didn't really want to be a personal fucking trainer. I just wanted like the 3D stuff to be able to have a business and I wasn't guided to open that business. But what I learned during that weekend was awesome and uh, you know, it, it was a thing too of um, how to balance when you don't have a lot of um, money and that you spend your money on something that you thought was gonna like bring in more and that I had to see it as a vacation that cost me that amount of money and not be hard on myself for not actually going through with the final 
um, outcome, which would have been, you know, any normal person would have gone to do a fucking weekend retreat to be a personal trainer, gone and done the exam and become a personal trainer. And for me, it was about the experience of the weekend, about not having shame and not feeling like bad about myself that I just spent like, you know, all together 900 with the, the road trip there and back and the motel and the food and is what it is and um, it was another part of me accepting myself for who I am I could have pushed and passed the exam um, and I could have tried to be a personal trainer just to have uh, you know secure -er -er, um, job instead of going with the flow of what I had which always led me to enough I don't know it's weird. I got a weird fucking path. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I went off on... But I truly believe we create our reality. So when, you know, we believe that we're going to go through tests and... Well, yeah, you're putting them out there. That's what you're receiving. Um, if you believe that everybody around you is a sheep and asleep, well, that's what you're going to run into. If you open your eyes and start looking at everybody... Everybody, I don't care if you live in a small fucking town or if you live in the biggest fucking city in like the world. If you open your eyes and look around you and believe that everyone is awake, that's what you're going to get back. And, um, yeah, it really is. Um, we, we, we get what we put out. So if you're hesitant and not trusting and thinking that people are bad, that's what you're going to get back. And it's even more hardcore now than it ever was before. So if you're still in experiences where things are like yucky and not feeling like good, um, you need to go within and look at what, or go within or like whoosh, bird's eye view. What am I perpetuating as thoughts in the universe that's bringing this to me? Because especially when I started my YouTube channel, I was really prepared for nasty comments and thumbs down and whatever of a reaction. And I've never gotten that. And once, once when Higher Self posted a video of me, it was my drums video sounding the drums someone's laughed at me and said like you like basically that I was a big joke and I, I, I have her in my subscriptions I don't remember who she is she still hasn't come out herself yet so I was a big joke and she couldn't stop laughing that I was just like whatever and and you know it wasn't nasty or mean but basically she wasn't impressed with me and thinking I was full of shit it even called me out when I had said like that watch it don't depend on your GPS be careful even called me out saying like my GPS works all the time and I was like at first part of me was like wow okay and then I just basically I told her straight up like I was sending her love and so cheesy that she wasn't answering back and at one point I said I was like I'm the girl in Greece that's saying we're going to be best friends forever. You're Rizzo. You don't like me. And remember at the end of Greece, everybody's dancing together. Just saying. You get what you give. Um, really. And you can turn a situation around. It is your choice. It's up to you. It really, really, really is. And especially now, there's nothing. You can say the dark is blocking you. No, it's you. It's you, local bro. It's you. Um, everything is in our favor. You want to turn around really fast? Go fucking hug a tree. Fucking lean on that motherfucker and say, help me. And see how fast things just radically change. Everything is in our favor. Everything. And if you're of the mindset that it's not, that's what you're going to get back. I think my work is done. Thanks, eh, to those who comment and who I have an interaction with. Uh, it means a lot. It really does. It's cool. Um, it's really nice. I appreciate it. I'm grateful. 
I have no idea how many subs I have. Um, one of the reasons I'm shouting out other people is because they need it for the lives. And I want the unity and I want people to like look around and I want people to help each other. Um, personally, I don't think I should do a live. I would be like watching the comments and not even talking and trying to figure out the comments. And then I would probably realize that I hadn't pressed play. And I was like, and besides, like, just, yeah, it, it, it's just wh whoever's watching, thank you. Whoever takes the time to comment, thank you. It really means a lot. Um, it's just like me, myself, and I, my cat, and my daughter in my universe. When I go out into the world, it's like to get a little bit of a something, something going on. Like, uh, and I need it, and they need it, and the comments are nice. I, I feel closer to people instead of feeling like, which you've been asked to stay here for three years, a month, and three days, and you have no fucking clue what's next. Wow.